Hello and welcome everyone to another StarCraft 2 England cast. This is the fourth game between TLO versus White Ra, and it is from the TLO replay pack, released on the 2nd of March 2012. And if you do want to take a look at it, you can go and grab it off of TeamLiquidPro.com. And the map is Antigua Shipyard. We have TLO as playing as Game of Drones, the blue Zerg player in the top left position. And we have White Ra as the Red Zerg in the top right position. So this obviously is Antigua Shipyard and the map has got rotational symmetry, which means there's no kind of quick way to go around and no close barrier. It's quite balanced, to be honest. I like it. The interesting thing, which if you've seen my game between LZ Gamer and I've forgotten who his opponent was, but you can actually get investors on here and fling infested Terrans over. It's close enough, which is really, really cool. And something I didn't realise until very recently. Now, Game of Drones is just going to be going for quite a macro build. It does appear no early pool, so White Rush should be pretty safe. And going for this wall off, is he going to go for the forge? No, actually going for a gateway. Now, this is a bit unusual going through a gateway as opposed to a forge on the low ground and it would have meant that if TLO had gone for that super super early pull sort of anywhere between 6 and 10 that he could have applied a lot of pressure and it would have been quite difficult to deal with without a cannon or a complete wall off but I mean either way it's not that unusual meanwhile TLO actually going for the hatch first build which is a bit it's not greedy it's just a bit dangerous because if White Ra had gone for a cannon first build. Um, he could have just got cannons around here, obviously with the forge. If it was forge, then cannon. He could have then come over with a probe, cannon all of this area up, all around the back up, and this base wouldn't have been able to finish or at least be mined from. So TLO just playing it a bit dangerously, and this probe only just going in now. It will get seen by the drone as well. So I mean, TLO is going to know exactly what's going on, know that there is a probe in his base and we'll probably just keep an eye on it to make sure nothing fishy goes on. Following up from this gateway, Waiwa is getting his cybernetics core down and has got one gas as well. This overlord just kind of getting a good scout of exactly what's happening knows there's no nexus yet so it's not a super super early expand. No cannon or pylon or anything going down from Waiwa as of yet so I mean Game of Drones is completely safe. I mean there's not even any forge but I don't actually believe he has got the necessary scouting information to guarantee that. I mean, he hasn't looked in the main base, so... I mean, it's by power of deduction. You can be fairly sure that if you've seen a gateway and a cybernetics core at the front of the base, that there's no cannon or forge anywhere else. So, I mean, TLO just playing this very, very safely as it stands. He's not going for any super early aggression, or even actually getting any Zerglings as of yet. Now... I mean, eventually he will need to get some Zerglings because there is this Stalker coming out and a second one following up, and I believe it's getting Chrono Boosted out. So, two Stalker Aggression coming out from YY here. We'll be able to snipe that Overlord if it's not careful, but still, it'll be interesting to see what he does. He's just coming down here to check the third base because obviously the standard response to that Nexus build, that fast expand or any sort of fast expand build of a Protoss player, is just to grab a third base super, super fast. But TLO knows from that Overlord Scout that the Nexus has only just dropped for Waiwa and instead didn't have any need to get that third base out. So he does have some Zerglings in order to deal with these two Stalkers. But obviously we'll need some more if he's going to deal with this. But he's coming for a great surround here. And I mean these Stalkers are almost certainly going to die. TLO's going to get the surround on. And there's nothing that Waiwa can do here pretty much. One Stalker going down already. That will die incredibly quickly to a surrounded um, Zerglings. But somehow... Why we are managing to get all of this out of position and prevent the surround from killing either stalker as of yet. Speed isn't even started, so these stalkers will eventually be able to make their way back to safety of their home. Meanwhile, we've got another gateway coming out for Y Ra, and those stalkers will be able to get away. And actually, they'll only be able to get away if they don't box themselves into a corner. That was nearly a bit of a mistake by White Ra there, but still getting away, and I mean, one Stalker getting very low on health, needs to be careful with that one Zergling actually looping around to try and deal with it, and I mean, both Stalkers insanely low on health now, but all of those Zerglings will get cleaned up, so quite good harassment, I mean, if we go to the Lost tab, White Ra hasn't lost anything, which is obviously ideal, 
Meanwhile though, these two stalkers are just going to probably go back to base, and the third base for TLO is about half done, so interesting kind of use here, just sacrificing this overlord in, because obviously all of his zerglings have died, so wants to see exactly what's going on, we'll see two gates there, but obviously doesn't know what's in the main base, doesn't know if anything else is going on, I mean there are two gases down already, a third gas on its way, and the fourth gas now for White Ra as well. I'm going into a two gate robo build, he's got his nexus out as well, so it'll be interesting to see what he does go from here. Meanwhile, TLO's third base is about to finish, and I mean, he hasn't actually taken anything other than that first gas. He's getting his second gas now, no third or fourth gas on the way, so just really getting lair ASAP. Speed just finishing up as I speak, and plus one melee attack just started for TLO as well. Take a look at White Ra's base, that robotics facility will finish fairly soon, getting two more gateways out in his main base, and now just one Zergling is going to run up to try and get a scout, but will quickly die to the sentries and zealots, and I don't actually think that Zergling managed to scout the robotics facility, so that could be quite useful for White Ra, because obviously he is going for this war prison play, and the element of surprise is essential. Walking up here to come and kill this overlord, but the Overlord will get all the scouting information that TLO requires from this. We'll see that there are three gateways up in the main base, so it, it is at least a five gate play. And interestingly, there is a Robotics Bay going down now as well, so Colossus are going to be out very, very early. Meanwhile, White Ra doesn't actually know about this third base as far as I am aware. I haven't seen him scouted yet, and obviously that's a good position for TLO to be in. Three bases is exactly where TLO wants to be. He's got his lair up, he's getting that overall speed as well to get better scouting, but here comes this war prism, it's going to be a sentry drop, but will get spotted by this overlord, and Wild is going to, is going to take out the overlord, so not just completely ignore it as I thought he may, so obviously that will supply, no it won't supply block TLO just quite, but I mean obviously it is still irritating, it's 100 lost minerals, these zerglings are slowly trying to eat away at the rocks, and why we're deciding not to actually go for it because obviously it has been scouted and there's a lot of zerglings being pulled to deal with it. A spine crawler as well being positioned in because he does now know that there are some warp prisms on the field, at least one anyway. Now, extended thermal lance is being kind of boosted out. The first Colossus is on its way and still just these three gas for TLO at the moment. Evolution, second evolution chamber and the infestation pit are down. Another spine crawler and straight away there, plus one melee attack finished and plus two, plus one melee armor or plus one armor as a whole started. And the second evolution chamber means that TLO will be able to start doing double upgrades. Road speed is about to finish as well. If we take a look down here, this war prism is just harassing everywhere, just trying to poke itself around, but TLO being very on it with those Zerglings, but a good drop on the low ground, obviously the War Prism does give vision of the high ground, and just picking them up, dropping them off, and if we take a look here, we've got this kind of two base single Colossus push coming in again, and against these Zerglings could be very, very effective, obviously more sentries are getting dropped out of the War Prism, a warp in is going to go down, and there's a lot of stalkers coming in, more stalkers being warped in as well, there's a lot of overlords here, but they are going to get taken out pretty quickly, and that Colossus is doing huge damage, great force fields blocking out some of the units, but not a complete wall off, so the Zerg player will be able to get some of his units into this fight, but TLO is getting absolutely crushed here, that Colossus is doing huge damage, obviously extended thermal lance has been completed, and these roaches are just melting to the stalker Colossus, push and I mean again just some great force fields here and TLO can't really go for it because he's going to have so many roaches out of range this third base is going to die there is literally no way I can see of TLO managing to save it but having said that there's some good force fields going down but that third base is also going to die the drone's burrowing and that's a good move a second Colossus is coming into the game now and I mean if we take a look, just more warp ins, more stalkers coming out, and there's just so many units for Wai Wai here. And TLO's gonna have a hard time dealing with it. He's only got a couple of roaches on the field, sacrificing a couple of them, and meanwhile, just trying to debate whether to just go and try and kill Wai Wai before he gets killed himself. But it will allow us around, but just more stalkers are getting warped out. The sentries are starting to run low on energy, so. Waiwa has used most of his force fields he has available to him at the moment, but just so many units, and these roaches are going to die, all the drones being pulled, overlords being pulled as well, hoping just to take some of the fire from the stalkers, but a Colossus does go down, the second Colossus is still up, so focus firing them down will be as 
good as he can do, but he does choose to GG. So Waiwa does take that game. And another great kind of two base, quick losses, war prison push, which really has been effective against the I mean, it won him the first game as well. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to go and cast the next game between TLO and Waiwa straight away. So tune into that as well. Thanks for watching.